so. How about you? I think I've got a broken wrist. Victoria, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I think so. My shoulder really hurts though. Oh. What happened? Our plane, it crashed. Oh my God, Johnny. What's wrong with him? Check his pulse. He has a pulse. He has a pulse. He look Is that guy alive? <coughs> oh my God. Is he gonna be okay? I think we need to do CPR. One, two, three, four. Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Do it. He's okay. Well. He looks pretty beaten up. Do you remember anything? No. I, I hit my head. Our plane crashed. It was so rough. Ah, my leg. I think it's broken. Oh no, his leg is broken. I think we should help him up. Ah. He doesn't look too good. He's alive. That's all that matters. We have to get out of there. Can he walk? No. So self-absorbed. Except you. You're different, I can tell. That's why I'm gonna tell you something I haven't told anyone else, and you can't tell anyone. I won't. What is it? Well, Selena and I, we're in a little something I like to call publicity stunt. Really? That's, uh, smart. <laughs> Very clever of you, Volta. I know, right? Sometimes I just amaze myself with my talent. Um, am I done? You sure are. <laughs> yeah, what can you tell me? What? That is not a natural blend. Obviously, of course it's natural. Get ready for it. You told me that he is dating Selena for the publicity. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, and there I was, thinking it was true, love. Assistant? Yes, sir. Give me a glass of spring water, 17 degrees Celsius, and can you put one and a half squeezes of lemon juice in it? Yes, sir. Oh, Rachel? It's Rebecca. Uh, don't forget to stir. And is that one at three quarters of a squeeze of lemon juice? And it's way too cold, I asked for 17 degrees, not 16. What do you want me to do, freeze to death? Now go make me another, make it better. Get out of my face. I guess so long before that was you. What did you say? Um, I heard that, um, it's nothing important, just something silly about you with Selena as a publicity stunt, but, but I know that's totally not true. And you wouldn't do anything like that, Walter. Who told you that? What are you doing? I don't think any of these shades complement my skin tone. Never mind. I think I just worked it out. Simone, come here, please. You want some powder? <laughs> sure. Yes, sir? You told her? Told her what? You told that Rosalie girl that I was only dating Selena for the publicity? 
I think her name's Rebecca and I don't know what you're talking about. My career is over! I'm finished! It's okay, uh, settle down, you're ruining makeup. <sighs> Sir, it'll be fine, calm down. <sighs> My daddy is coming in five minutes to see the next scene. Yes, yes Mary. Mary. Okay, guys, we're going for another take before the producer, Mr. Cunningham, arrives. Okay, and... Action. Don't die on me, Johnny. You can... You can... You can... Cut, cut. We'll do another take in five. And Walter, you better learn your lines. It's Daddy. Hello, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. He is so self-absorbed. I know. He thinks he rules the place. How dare he walk out a set like that? Uh, what are we about to do now? Um, we are just about to go for a take. So you're just about to go for a take, are you? Absolutely, sir. Oh, uh, really? The lights are killing me today. Can't they budget for better lights? Because redheads are so old school. Lucky he doesn't have to deal with it. I know. Are we the only people that can see? He's the biggest overactor in history. Exactly. Okay, Regina, you can do this. No biggie. I, I mean, it's your special tofu curry. Everyone loves it. You've dated Cody Simpson and Justin Bieber. What are you worried about? Not a single talented bone in his body. Tell me, how is it that a little dweeb like Walter gets all the main roles? Roll after roll. I know what you mean. Why am I so nervous? I guess I've never seen a stand-in and extra with such passion for his craft. And in that moment, in scene two, when he took that soft food from the flight attendant, <sighs> his performance was so believable. He was connecting with that glass like I've only seen the likes from Leonardo DiCaprio and Daniel Radcliffe. It's definitely the hair. That's it. Maybe I should go a couple shades lighter. Okay, deep breath. Anything to get out of being an extra, right? Don't... Absolutely. You did not just do that. You did not just cover me in this rubbish. May taste really good. But I have you know, my hair is ruined. Honestly, I did not mean to, and if it makes you feel any better, my mum says that the tofu is good for the hair. Really, it gets into the roots and nauseous it. Yeah. I can do it myself. Jeez, I was just trying to help. Well, I don't need your help. Your help, and I certainly don't need your help. You evil tofu person. Who are you, anyway? My name is Regina, and I said I was sorry. Anyway, I happen to be the daughter's owner of the famous Donna's Catering. We've only catered for the biggest blockbusters like Titanic, Jurassic Park, and a little film I like to call Harry Potter. Well, maybe next time you should watch where you're going. Because of you, I have wasted a good four hours of my day. I have to wash my hair, rinse it, blow dry it, and straighten it. Don't you think that's a little extreme? Coming from the guy whose hair looks like that? No, it's not extreme. Maybe you should try it. Maxwell, that's it. I'm not a star because I don't have good hair. I just need to give it a good wash, go a couple shades lighter, and kapow. Here I come, Hollywood. Woo! Uh, I was going to ask him if he wanted me to make up some more curry. I don't think Donald's having a very good day. This business about becoming a star is really starting to get with his head. Actually, I would love to be an extra. It would be different to playing the same old bad boy in every film. Yeah, I guess so. You know what? I'll take you up on that tofu offer though. Really? Excellent, because I make a mean tofu curry. 
Kim, you can't keep messing up your hair. Continuity problems. I was watching you. Why don't you just make it more obvious? I know what you're up to. What on earth are you talking about? The fluttering of the eyelashes, the flirting, don't fool with me. It's acting. I'm an actress. I'm not. Cam, focus. Focus on character. If you want to be the best of the best and up with the A-listers, then you need to focus. Focus, focus, focus. Excuse me, but are you the director? Um, I'm not. I really don't think these lines suit to my character. You know, these lines, they just have too much heart. My character definitely doesn't. I'm not the director. Well, why didn't you just say so? Could you just talk to him or do something about these lines? The way they think the position to the demons. Excuse me, this area backstage is for actors only. And I can assure you, you're not an actor, Miss Samuels. Miss Selena Samuels. Right. Like the Selena Samuels? I'm here to watch my boyfriend Walter. Did you hear that? My boyfriend? I heard you, and I've already told you that there's nothing going on between us. Pam, we need this Friday off for a casting at Riverside. Yeah. Consider that your first warning. That's a good line. Maybe I should ask them to put that in the script. Pam, I've cancelled our flight next week to the premiere of your last feature film, okay? Okay. Consider that your first warning. Yes. Consider that your first warning. Maybe we should leave the script writing to the script writers, Sylvia. They just don't understand the characters like I do. You know, they just don't understand me. I don't think anyone can understand you. Schedule for tomorrow, 10 a.m. television commercial filming till 12, okay, Pam? Did you hear me? Schedule for tomorrow, 10 a.m. television commercial filming till 12. Can I give this one a miss? I mean, why do I have to do so much stuff? There's a lot on my plate at the moment, Constance. And it's not that I don't appreciate you. It's just that I don't really have much time to myself. It's your career. It's good publicity. It's everything. Hurry up. We have to leave in 20 minutes for the next location. Rebecca, a little bit of help, please. Seriously, guys, who can make this much mess and expect us to clean it up? Oh my god, give us some help, please. Don't just stand there. The makeup lady has a point. Oh my gosh, where is Pam? We're going to be late if she doesn't hurry up. Hold your horse. Does Buddy even care that much? He doesn't even seem like she wants to be here anyway. Well, for your information, she's my sister. I've been trying my very best to maintain her high profile regardless. I put too much time and effort into Pam for her to just slack off now. Maybe it would be different if she knew we were sisters. I'm gonna go get her now. What's wrong with her? You guys really wanna know? Well, you know that I am so perfect that I'm a superstar girl that Constance has around her finger? That brat who's trying to steal my boyfriend? Take a chill pill! Anyway. She's actually Pam's sister. Pam doesn't even know. Don't tell her I told you guys this. Oh my gosh, she's missing. I can't find her. What? Who? Your sister. Thank gosh for that. I'm gonna go now. Why don't you open your big mouth? I'm sorry, it just slipped out. Hey, I swear I know you. You look so familiar. Oh, me? No, I really don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> but I have! Oh my gosh, you look... You cannot tell anyone, please. I won't. Can you guys not talk about my boyfriend like that? It's not always about you, Selena Samuels. Gosh! Anyway, who's going to help me find Pam? Oh, please. Daddy knows it's all a publicity stunt. I don't. We're like Walina, like Brangelina. No, no, no! I thought he didn't like you. I can tell through bad actors. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. 
So please be patient while we address this issue. Well, isn't this typical? I'm going to be getting all my people in the studio slip up. I'm more annoyed with the edit. They cut so many scenes out. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Hopefully they get it up and running soon. Absolutely. My scandal about me stealing all my father's money is going to be unraveled. Yeah, you were just about to see me tell Pam she's my sister. Oh yeah, that was my favourite part in the film. Such a believable performance. I'm thinking about changing agents at the moment, so I'll have my people call your people. I have another premiere to be at. Ugh. Yeah, well, in 40 minutes, I'm meant to be at Lakeside for a casting. Everybody, shh, it's coming back on. Oh. The credits. That's it? Worst premiere ever!